Hello, it's Alex. I'm in my hallway. I don't know why I start videos in my hallway. And today the sun is out. So. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the long time no see. No, I'm not dead. The weather has been absolutely rubbish over the last few weeks and I've had absolutely no motivation to be outside in the rain fixing old cars. So that's why you haven't seen me. But I'm back. The sun is out this morning. So I've got a few things I want to do on the Renault. Let's crack on. So this is Claude, my 1982 Renault 9 TLE. Uh, he's in for a radio change this morning. I'll show you why. So, um, as, I, as I mentioned in previous videos, the radiator is in the best of health. I've also had an issue with the cooling fan. This was C solid. So before I could do anything with the cooling fan, I had to work out what the wiring was, because like I said before, everything has been disconnected. Um, so through trial and error, using a multimeter and just testing different wires, I worked out what the correct wiring should be for the fan switch for the radiator. Good times. Plug it all back in, run the engine up to temperature, and got a click from the fan relay as if it was trying to kick in but wouldn't. Um, sure enough, tried turning the fan blade C solid. So I took the back off the motor, um, liberally soaked it with some WD-40, other degreases are available, and um, didn't have much luck with that. In fact, it was met with plumes of smoke, presuming that was just burning off. I left it for a week, I've come back to it this morning, run the car up to temperature, and the fan has actually cut in. I'll show you that now. So by pure chance this morning, this has actually now started working. It's cutting as it should do. Um, so I've, I've now got the correct wiring in place and that's actually working as it should do. But I want to change this radiator because it's, as you can see, it's not in the best of health. Now, last week, um, I kind of come to the conclusion that this was toast. So I've actually bought an aftermarket uh, fan. Let me show you that now. Right, so what I've got here, it's a brand new radiator, not in the old stock, it, it is a new one. Looking forward to fitting that, that's going to be a lot better. And this is the replacement cooling fan. I decided to go for a universal one simply because I just could not get a new old stock uh, Renault 9 one, they just don't exist anymore. So that will go on there. There's pins that go through the centre of the, the fins, hold it in place with little springs and washers on the back there. And that's going to be a much more efficient way of cooling the car. Hopefully. Right, confession time. This car has been doing my head in to the point where I almost got rid of it. But then I thought, no, Alex, you want to see this project through. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, I would like to keep hold of this car being such a rare vehicle. There's not many nines left on the road, especially in this country. So it's nice to have. I do actually quite like this whole thing. Um, the clutch is a big issue. Although on starting the vehicle this morning, I was met with a quite a catastrophic amount of transmission noise and then the clutch pedal started working. So maybe it's just seized up and needs freeing off. Maybe using it will help. I don't know. The radiator is the next big thing, so we've got to do that. I'll probably do that this afternoon when I've got a bit more time. But first, does the cassette player work? Uh, choice of music today is Declan McKenna's uh, Zeros. Good album, highly recommended. Let's give this a go. Right, ignition on. I don't expect this to work because um, the rubber drive belt on this would probably be dead, but I know the radio works, but does the cassette play work? Good Lord. Oh, that actually works. Well, I never. But will she start? Of course she will. He will. understand what's going on with the clutch. One minute's working, one minute's not. See the wheel bearing hasn't fixed itself. Yeah, so we've got tremendous clutch slip, so I think that clutch is on the way out sadly. 
Oh, well, turn around, head home, and have a cup of tea, I think. Just out for driving my Renault 9. So we got to look at the clutch, look at the cooling system, and look at the wheel bearing by all accounts. Oh, that's close. Yeah, completely locked again. Well, that's frustrating. But hey, we went for a little drive, didn't we? But I think I've got someone who can do the clutch for me because I'm not overly happy about doing the job myself. Um, with that out of the way, this is a potentially a good running and driving car because um, it doesn't seem to want a lot really the clutch is a big thing though uh, I I don't really want to do that myself well some progress uh, Gary came round he brought cake we had a cup of tea watched a bit of YouTube and we've had a go at um, fitting the fan to the radiator should we have a look right so this is the progress so far the radiator fan is mounted up where it needs to be I've still got a two more pins to put through and um, that electrical plug is going to need to be cut off then I'm going to use the wiring that's in the car and connect it to that so I can disconnect it without um, having to have anything hardwired which would be nice but yeah coming along you know one thing we haven't actually done yet is clean clawed so let's give them a good wash Look at that, it's like a bird's done its business all over the car. Well, doesn't that look better? I think it looks better, which is all that matters because it's my car. Well, that's not good news. I pumped this up this morning because it went randomly flat overnight. It looks like I'll be putting the spare on. Claude. Well that's going to do it for today, I think in the next video I'm going to fit that radiator but I won't do that today because I'm tired and I want another cup of tea. Still loads to do on the car, we've got to fit the rad, look at the wheel bearings, sort the tar out and then there's the issue of the clutch. Anyway, thank you for watching, um, thanks for the continued support. I shall see you very soon with some more content on George the Allegra and Claude the Renault 9. Until then, thanks for watching.